Chapter 19 India Human Life Introduction We are proud that we are born in India. Our country is situated on the southern side of Asia. It has been gifted by three seasons, cold season, warm season and rainy season with traditional subdivisions of these seasons. Earlier, you studied that India is a diversified country with reference to relief features and climate. So many changes are seen in food, dressing, dwellings, language, dialects, festivals, holy days, etc. Thus, India is a multicolored nation showing unity in diversity. Relief and climate have a clear impact on the food and dress Example, the staple food of people living near seacoast is rice and fish. Wheat is the main crop in Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh and Punjab. So people in these regions use wheat preparations. Similarly, relief and climate have a strong impact on the dressing. The costume of people in colder and mountainous region is woolen and covers entire body. Similarly, People living in a region experiencing high temperature throughout the year put on cotton dresses which are light in color and are loose. Nowadays, men put on pant and shirt and women put on salwar kameez in every state. India can be divided into four zones according to lifestyle. Western India, Northern India, Southern India and Eastern India. Now we shall learn about the lifestyle in respective regions. Lifestyle Western India Major states of Western India are Rajasthan, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh and Goa. It also includes union territories of Diu Daman, Dadra and Nagar Haveli. Food Staple food in Rajasthan is millet and dal bati. Marwadi kachori of Rajasthan is a famous item in breakfast. Rotli bhakri, vegetables, dal and rice, khichdi and kadhi are main items in the food of Gujarati people. Khaman and ghantia are more preferred as savory item. Maharashtrians prefer sev usal. People living along the sea coasts of Gujarat, Maharashtra and Goa eat mainly rice and fish. Like to know Gujaratis are basically traders as they are required to go to distant places for trading so durable items for breakfast like thepla, gathia, dry kachori, khakro and sukri are more common among them. Dress. Rajasthan is a dry and desert area. Hence, there is less diversity in vegetation. This defect is overcome by them through colorful dresses. Men generally wear dhoti, angarakhu and colorful headgear or paghri while women put on sari, petticoat and blouse. Traditional dressing of Gujarat. Men put on dhoti, kurta, white cap or headgear turban on head while women put on sari, petticoat and blouse. Traditional dress of men in Maharashtra is dhoti and paheran and a cap or headgear on the head. Women wear sari in Maharashtrian way. The traditional dress in Madhya Pradesh is similar to that of the neighboring states of Gujarat and Maharashtra. In Goa also Men wear dhoti and pahiran, and women wear sari and blouse. However, a strong western impact is seen in the dresses in Goa. Thus, every region has its own characteristics in their dresses. Dwelling There is less rainfall in Rajasthan due to deserts, so most of the houses have flat top. Rural people live in the houses made of grass and soil. People in Gujarat live in modern types of buildings made from brick cement. In Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh and Goa also, urban people live in well laid out houses 
with many modern amenities. In every state, the forest dwellers living in forests or mountainous area stay in scattered huts. Roofs of the buildings in Konkan, which receives heavy rainfall, are slant. Like to know. Dwellings in Kutch, Gujarat are known as Bhunga. These Bhungas were least damaged during the earthquake of 26th January 2001. Language Rajasthani people mainly speak Hindi, while Marwadi language is spoken in Marwad. Gujarati is the main language of people in Gujarat. Kachi dialect is spoken in Kach. Hindi is main language in Madhya Pradesh. Marathi and Konkani are also languages spoken in Maharashtra and Goa respectively. Regional dialects are spoken according to the area of respective states. Festivals and Holy Days Kalidas, the great poet, has said that human beings are fond of festivals. Indians celebrate many festivals and holy days. Rajasthan has peculiar type of folk songs and folk dances. Festivals of Holi and Gangor are celebrated with great pomp. Ghumar, Kachi Godi and Kalbelia are very famous folk dances of Rajasthan. Gujarat is world famous for her Ras Garba. Maharashtra celebrates Ganesh Chaturthi festival with great pomp. Besides, its Lavani dance is also very famous. In Ujjain, Madhya Pradesh, the Shivratri is celebrated with much enthusiasm. People in Western India celebrate festivals like Diwali, Navratri, Shivratri, Dasera, Ganesh Chaturthi, Eid, Mohurram, Christmas, Mahavir Jayanti, Pateti, Cheti Chand, Buddha Jayanti, etc. Fairs Pushkar in Rajasthan and Siddhpur in Gujarat are known for their camel trade on Kartik Purnima full moon day. A fair is conducted for trading donkeys at Vautha of Dholka Taluka in Gujarat. Other famous fairs in Gujarat are Tarnetar Fair near Thangad, Bhavnath Fair in Junagad and Dang Darbar Fair in Dangs. Ujjain in Madhya Pradesh and Nasik in Maharashtra are famous for holding Ardha Kumbh Fair and Goa for carnivals. Like to know In the Adhik or additional Bhadarvo month occurring after every 18 years, a fair is organized at Bhadbhut in Vagra Taluka of Bharuch district. Lifestyle North India North India includes the states of Punjab, Haryana, Jammu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Delhi, etc. Punjab is a land of five rivers. Due to its natural beauty, Jammu Kashmir is considered to be the heaven of the earth. Uttarakhand is a mountainous region and also known as Dev Bhumi. Himachal Pradesh is also a mountainous state. Uttar Pradesh is a part of the fertile plain of Ganga Yamuna. Delhi is the national capital of India. Food Wheat is the staple food in Punjab and Haryana. Punjabi people use tandoori roll made from wheat and a variety of parathas very frequently. Paneer-based mixed vegetables is a special choice of Punjabis. Lassi is a well-known drink in Punjab. Main food of people from Jammu Kashmir is rice, meat and fish. Roti, dal and rice is the staple food of people in Uttar Pradesh. Dressing The dress which Punjabis and Haryanavis put on is known as Punjabi dress. Women put on salwar and kameez. Men also wear loose shirt or jhabbo and salwar. Men also put on Punjabi-styled headgear. Some people also wear embroidered jacket over the loose shirt. Kashmiri people wear Kashmiri dress, 
and during winter they put on clothes covering entire body. The dress in Himachal and Uttarakhand is similar to that of Jammu Kashmir. Gents put on cap and ladies wear scarf on the head. People in Uttar Pradesh wear dhoti and paheran and tie a scarf on the head. Ladies wear sari, petticoat and blouse. Welling Punjab and Haryana get less rainfall, so the buildings there have flat rooftops. Urban people live in the buildings made of bricks and cement. Wood is used more in the construction of houses in Jammu Kashmir. In Himachal and Uttarakhand, people live in two-storied buildings. Animals are kept in the ground floor so that their heat keeps the wooden first floor warmer. Such buildings are useful during snowfall. The roofs are slopy. Smooth rocks are used as roof tiles so that the snow on the rooftops easily slides down. In Uttar Pradesh, urban people live in houses made from bricks and cement. Language Punjabi people speak Punjabi language and Haryanvi speak Haryani language. People in Uttar Pradesh use Hindi and Urdu languages. Urdu is major language in Jammu Kashmir. Kashmiri and Dongri languages are also spoken there. Besides Hindi, Garhwali and Kumau dialects are also spoken in Uttarakhand. The state language of Himachal Pradesh is Pahadi. Moreover, local dialects are also spoken in remote area of each state. Festivals and Holy Days Baisakhi and Lahiri are major festivals in Punjab. Bhangra is a famous folk dance of Punjab. Eid and Muharram festivals are celebrated in Jammu Kashmir. Dashera is celebrated in a special way in Kulu of Himachal Pradesh. Holi is the major festival in Uttar Pradesh. Kathak is a well-known dance style of Uttar Pradesh. Besides, festivals like Shivratri, Ram Navami, Janmashtami, Dashera, Eid, Muharram, Christmas etc. are more celebrated festivals. Fairs Kulu's Dashera Fair is a well-known fair. In Punjab, a martyr's fair is held. Kumbh Mela and Magh Mela are famous fairs of Allahabad in Uttar Pradesh. In Uttarakhand, Kumbh and Ardh Kumbh fairs are famous. Lifestyle South India The states of Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Union Territory of Puducherry are included in South India. Southern India is a peninsula and each state has sea coast. Food In southern states, rice and fish form the main diet. Idli, dosa, meduvada, etc. along with the coconut chutney are famous rice preparation of South India. They eat rasam which is like dal or gravy in their meal. Coconut leaves are used as dish in Kerala. Dressing Due to hot and humid weather in South, people wear loose garments. Lungi, paheran, case on the shoulder and occasionally a headgear are common attire among men. Women wear sari in southern style, petticoat and blouse. Keralites wear lungi or short dhoti. Ladies put on flower strips or veni on their head. Dwellings. People live in houses of brick and cement. Modern housing is seen in Bengaluru and Chennai. People living near sea coast use coconut leaves in their huts. A rangoli is a daily routine in South India. Language. Languages in South India belong to Dravid family of languages. Kannad language is spoken in Karnataka. Other languages spoken are Telugu in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, Tamil in Tamil Nadu and Malayalam in Kerala. Festivals and Holy Days Andhra Pradesh is famous for its Kuchipudi dance. Shivratri, 
Makar Sankranti festivals are celebrated there. Mysore in Karnataka celebrates Dashera, Eid and Navratri festivals. Kathakali is a well-known dance of Kerala. Onam, Christmas, Eid, Shivratri are other festivals celebrated in Kerala. Bharatnatyam is very famous dance style of Tamil Nadu and Pongal is its main festival. Lifestyle Eastern India The states of Bihar, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Odisha, West Bengal, Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura, Sikkim, Meghalaya, etc. are included in Eastern India. Of these, Odisha and West Bengal have seacoast. Food People in Bihar, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh and West Bengal take roti vegetables but use more rice in their meals. Rice is a staple diet in mountainous region. They also use pulses, green vegetables in their meals. Rasagulla and Sandesh are their favorite sweets. Like to know Satvo or Sattu is a special dish eaten in Bihar. Tea is a widespread drink in Assam. Dressing Bihari people wear dhoti, zabbo, case on shoulder and a pug or headgear. Women put on sari, petticoat and blouse. There is not much difference in the attire of people in Jharkhand, Assam and Odisha. Bengali ladies wear sari in Bengali style and gents put on plated or with folds dhoti and silk jabbo. Dwellings People in plain region live in houses made of bricks and cement. People in mountains use wood and bamboo in their houses. Slanting roofs are seen in the regions of heavy rainfall. In Bengal, there is a pukur or small pond in the rear of the house. Fish is reared for daily use in their meals. Language Hindi is spoken in Jharkhand, Bihar and Chhattisgarh. Maithili, Bhojpuri and Magdi are dialects spoken in Bihar, Asami in Assam, Uriya in Orissa and Bengali in Bengal are other spoken languages in the respective states. Garo and Khasi languages are spoken in Meghalaya. Mizo dialect is used in Mizoram. Festivals and Holy Days Bihu of Assam and Odissi in Odisha are famous dance styles. The chariot procession of Jagannath Puri is world famous. Festivals of Chhat and Bhayaduj in Bihar and Durga Puja in Bengal are celebrated with great pomp. Thus, every state has its own festivals and holy days. India is a secular country, so every state celebrates religious and national festivals. In India, festivals of all religions are celebrated without any partiality. Like to know In different regions of India, People use the edible oil made from the oil seeds grown in that region. Example, groundnut oil in Gujarat, mustard oil in North India and coconut oil in South India are used as edible oils.